Welcome back to a new episode of DevDrawer. Today we're going to be going over how to use Axios in order to uh, let our node project collect data from an external API. Let's get started. So what I want to do here is to show you how to use Axios. So I'm going to create a variable up here, cont uh, constant Axios equals require and you can use like a just you know JavaScript git and stuff like that um, you don't have axios no use uh, you okay so you don't have to use axios I'm gonna show you how to use axios in this one because I think it's a nice little thing to do with node um, okay so what we want to do is I want to create a route that looks like this so sample dev git. So let's go ahead and create this router. So sample dev git. And inside of this, we are going to return a response from an external API using Axios. So we're going to do Axios. And once you see it, you might be like, oh, okay, I like it too. So we're going to do git. And then once we get what we need, we're going to do it then kind of the same way that we would do the uh, do a regular fetch. So we're going to use a response, which is then going to be pushed to a function. And then let's also throw in a catch. So the catch is going to pass an error. OK, so now I'm going to copy a URL that I have for just something I found on the internet. It's just a coding resources. And actually, some of it's kind of wonky. but um, it, it'll just basically pull the API. That's what I'm wanting to do right now. So now we're going to do response dot JSON res dot data. Um, and then here we want to do console dot log error. Okay, so now if we refresh, uh, I gotta start my server again. If we refresh this page, you can see that it is now pulling from an external API, just uh, some sample. So what I want to happen on this page is I wanted to display a table of these um, dev resources. So let's edit that. So we got our card body here. Let's create a table. And let's do class, uh, let's see, table, table, striped, and table, bordered. Okay. And then inside of this, we're going to do t head, uh, tr, and we're just going to have two ths. The first one's going to be the description, and then we're just going to have a link in the other one. Now let's do our T body. Okay, so now let's come down here, and we're going to do a script that is going to take this uh, this git URL that we have already established here, and we're going to parse the content into our table. So let's do a fetch sample dev git. Then we're going to be then response. Um, and then data. OK, let's close this out. All right. So now with this response, we're just wanting it to do what you would normally do. So we're going to return response.json. And then when we're getting the data, we're going to parse it kind of the same way that we did in um, our list. So let's do let table equals see document.query selector. And we're going to do t body. And then let resources equal data. And then we're going to do resources.map 
uh, resource. And let row equals document dot create element tr. So kind of the same way that we did our own list. It's the same code. Um, we're just adding different things from a different location. Okay, so we're going to append child document dot create uh, create element td and let's do text content is going to be equal to resource dot description dsc rp okay description and then let's take this and instead of text content, I want to actually have a URL here. So we're going to do enter HTML. And let's do a href. Just this with a blank target. And I guess we can just say view resource. Okay, so now the URL here is going to be resource dot URL and I'm grabbing all of this information based on this. So we got description and then the URL. Uh, resource URL, target blank. Now the last thing we need to do is append child row. Okay, so let's go back to this page, give it a refresh. And now we have all of our resources that are being pulled from an external URL. Click on the view resource and it opens up in a new tab for you. So now that we've added this page, let's go to our navigation. And we're going to have sample slash dev. This is going to be dev resources. All right, so now we have everything that we need. So this is how you would create um, a different um, different routes that you can add to it. Um, we have some of our routes that are pulling from a JSON file that's locally. We have some of our routes that are pulling from a um, uh, an API that's off-site uh, using Axios. Uh, so there's a lot of really cool things that we can do. Hopefully, um, y'all you know, was able to follow along with all of that. Um, it's a lot to take in. And I actually might uh, do some more on Node as I become a lot more familiar with it. But if you have any comments on what I did that could be improved, I would definitely love to hear them because, uh, like I said, I don't really use Node too often. I would like to start using it a little bit more. So I'm trying to kind of teach myself as I'm going. And this is kind of what I've learned so far. Um, so probably why I wasn't as confident when I was writing the code compared to normally how I write the code. But, you know, you got to start somewhere. So if you see anything on here that could be done differently, um, especially with, like, the absolute URL references for the uh, the partials, that would be great. I would love to know that kind of thing. Um, but I think that's going to do it for this tutorial. Um, if you have a comment, leave it down below. If you like the video, if it taught you something, anything about Node.js that you haven't been able to discover on your own, give me a thumbs up. Um, i definitely love to see those, and I'll try to respond to the comments as quickly as I can. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for this video. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.